blasted blistering blazes! What the heck took you so long? We've been waiting for ages. But you only just... What matters now is that we find the gem that opens the temple doors. You two take care of that. I'll go ahead to the temple and inspect the gate. Any questions? No? Then beat it. Um, it helps to know what something looks like if you're supposed to find it. At least that's what I've been told. I already told you that. A small red gem. If it's around here somewhere, and I'm quite certain it is, you should maybe search for it at the village treasury. Now get going. I'll see you at the temple. Well then, let's start our glorious search, shall we? I suggest you take a look at the town hall. I'll check out the temple. Just call me if you find something. About Fogville? Yeah, quite a lot, actually. The story's always fascinated me. Yeah, and that's about what happened. Hmm, how can I say this without going beyond the scope? The short version? The villagers lost their minds. It all started when they officially renounced Malthus and the Righteous Path. Then, more and more travelers started disappearing, and surprisingly, a lot of their corpses were found close to the village, dumped in the forest like slaughtered cattle. That was when the Order couldn't ignore this issue any longer and sent a division of guards to end the madness, whatever that's supposed to look like. But when these guards arrived, they were greeted by frenzied villagers who were armed to the teeth and jumped on the guards like rabid dogs. Most of them were killed, but one made it back to the temple. Well, and that's almost the end of the story. When the guards returned, they were almost the size of an army, but still the villagers charged right at them. You can imagine the result. Yes, it was. It turned out they sacrificed them. Later, when the Order searched Fogville for what could have caused all this, they found a hidden hexagonal room in the temple, which looked like the Fogvillers built it themselves. It was strange. There were exactly six paintings, one on each wall, and they all depicted unholy scenes, whatever that may mean. Anyway, it seemed that the travelers were sacrificed there. Heck knows why. As I said, they were mad. And this is also how they fought, regardless of the consequences. Plus, this place isn't exactly easily charged. Just look at all the walls. It's almost a fortress. Well, the most common one is the proximity to the Whisperwood. At least that's the official explanation. Some conspiracy theorists see a connection to the Butcher of Ark. Exactly. Strange guy, to say the least. You know, shortly before he killed himself, he left an autobiography. There's a lot of speculation going on about this entire myth, and some of it's quite bizarre and morbid, if you ask me. Anyway.
What? Haven't had enough yet? <laughs> As you wish. That was quick. Any luck? Let me see. Yeah, that's it. Well, then I guess that means off to the temple. You ready? Yeah, I did. Why do you ask? Ready to go? Good, then lead the way. Huh? Never walked back on the road from the aged man's abode. Uh, blazes. Sorry. I know. I can't sing.
Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. Huh? Malfess's blessing. Is that supposed to help? Me? What do you want? No idea, but I did what you asked of me. Now where's my pay? Here. Thank you for your walk. Blessed. Safe travels. We just got a new delivery of ale. Anyone? <laughs> Do I know you? Mm. Him? Oh, just another disappointment, I guess. Nothing you need to worry about. Help me, huh? That's just Why? how it is. Everything was better in the old days. Ah, uh, well, that's just that's how it is. What this is all about. Always talking. Well, I hate to disappoint, but I haven't exactly had the best of luck with cell swords. If it's a job you're looking for, <coughs> look somewhere else. Do I know you? Him? Oh, help me. Why? Work, work, hmm. work. Well, you just don't see a lot of helpfulness these days. Ah, uh, never mind. I don't want to be the self-pitying Eterna. This country is way better than Nairim or Erezil. Huh. How's this? Before we go any further, you have a seat, and we play a couple of rounds of the Battle for Treyamar. I'll think over your offer in the meantime, and we'll let you know of my decision afterwards. What do you think? Well then, in keep! Two mugs of ale, please! Are you dealing? I guess I got lucky. Come on, another round. We're not done yet. Close enough. Ah, oh, that was fun. Can't remember the last. So, regarding your offer, does it still stand? I've. Well, I'm looking for someone. But let's talk at my camp, shall we? Elrond needs fodder, and he's been alone out there for way too long now. My Leoran. Yeah, something like that. Come, follow me. my lady. Where do you need to go? Here we are. And, yeah, this is where I live. Why don't you start a fire while I take care of Elrond? Thank you. So, I'll try to make this short. I'm here on Enderal because I'm looking for someone who left my life a while ago. My... how do they put it in these parts? My companion. Former companion, that is. Tara. 
A letter I received a while ago. It came by Myrid Courier, which was more than unusual. Just like myself, Tara was a minstrel. And, as you might know, money is always sparse among our kind. You guess right. She said that she was planning to do something. Something extremely stupid. I... <sighs> Alright. I think I need to go back a little. You know, Tara has always been somewhat... complicated. Introverted. Wary of others. If you didn't know her, you'd have been inclined to think that she was arrogant. Yeah. I did. Probably because I saw right away that her demeanor was a form of self-protection more than anything. Anyway, what I'm getting at is that Tara has always had difficulty being happy. Every now and then, this black fog would come over her. Sometimes it was bearable. Sometimes it was so bad that she refused to leave her tent all day long. One of the reasons, yeah. But there was something else that happened about two years ago, and I had lost Tara in the crowd. When I found her again, she had this look on her face, as though the Seven Lightborn had just revealed themselves to her. She was hypnotized. Well, in that crowd she had met a woman. She had worn a mask, like the other guests at the ball, and according to Tara, she had approached her right after our performance. She... how should I put it? She had told her that she had a solution for Terra's problem. For the Black Fog. Yeah. I quickly forgot about the whole thing and I thought Terra had too. But the letter proved me wrong. Her encounter with that woman. It had never let go of her. Never. Yeah. And some of the things she said in that letter. They scared me. Because they sounded so final. Ugh, I don't know. It's probably madness that I'm even here. But still, when I read those lines, everything inside me froze. As though I was watching her walk towards an abyss and wasn't able to stop her. Uh, that's complicated. I'd re What? When? How? His l By the name of the sun. I'm so sorry. Well, who is she then? Do you have any idea? Something bigger, huh? I'm guessing you're talking about this red madness, aren't you? Either way, I suppose the big questions will have to wait. First, we need to find Terra. Take a look? I, uh... I, I don't know where I put it. I'm sorry. Maybe just one. And according to that mercenary I talked to in the tavern, it's leading nowhere. Even though I can't help but feel as though he was sloppy. Alright. My only clue so far is the name of the ship on which Terra set over from Kyle. The Morning Dew. It was a trade vessel whose crew was mad enough to sail the Red Sea despite the wars. When I came here, the Morning Dew had just set sail again. But I wasn't able to find anyone with information on Terra's whereabouts. Really? Then, did you see Terra? A young Eterna. Black hair, blue eyes? Well, according to the mercenary, the ship ran aground up north. If that's true, and if we get lucky, we might be able to find something in the captain's chambers that could help us. Here. This is where the ship ran aground, apparently. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate it. How about a sip of spiced wine before you leave? A turn of specialty. All right, one moment. Yes?
never walk back on the road from the age of man's abode. Oh. Blazes. Sorry. I know. I can't sing. That's it. The Crystal Forest. Beautiful, isn't it? The temple should just be a few miles up the hill. Oh, it's an old legend. Apparently this temple has some kind of consciousness, so to speak. That's also the reason for the weird vegetation around here. Yep. Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can break anyway. Still a lot. Good. Let's go. I shouldn't waste any more time. Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time. I'll wait. I can use a break anyway.